Right, here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another stream. How are we all? Hope you're doing well. Had a good weekend in the house for some new dailies on GT7. So we'll get in, we'll get straight into it today and we'll see what's going on with the new dailies on GT7. Like I say, hope you had a good weekend and everyone's doing well. And we'll see what's going on today in the dailies. So... Oh yeah, Monza, no chicane. We've got Spa, which will be the main theme of today. Spa week, this week. And uh, Dragon Trail Gardens on Daily Base C. So, yeah, I've had a bit of a go on all three early on. Bit of a practice on all three. Not too bad. So, uh, we'll see how it goes this week on the dailies and see what happens. So, as ever, we'll start off with Daily Base A. We'll do a Daily A just to sort of see what it's like and uh, warm up for Spa. So we'll have a look at this uh, Chaparral thing that's in uh, Daily Base A, the Chaparral 2J 1970. Interesting, Monza no chicane on the racing hard tyre. So I think this is a classic car that you need to buy. So I'm going to have to borrow one because I haven't got one. The Chaparral. It's uh, it's an odd looking thing, the chaparral. But uh, we'll go in and see what's going on. Hello, Cheech. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. Go, go, go with the dailies this week. Have a, uh, hopefully, some good races today. We'll see how we get on. Uh, 123s. Uh, there's no... Yeah, that's fine. No tune in. Cool. That's fine. Get into it. The Chaparral. Yeah, I had a bit of a drive in it earlier. So we've got a, a little bit of a flavour of it, but not really. It's very quick. It's very fast. It's only got three gears as well. Maybe a good thing that it is no chicane on Monza. Just literally just keep it keep it going like that. Oh, we've got the racing hard tyres. Feel the speed. Oh, that's a great fire. Yeah. Sorry, 26, not too bad. We've got round. One second there for that chicane. Watch out for that in the race. I think maybe second gear is better for these, the Lesmos. And just power your way out. Just watch the power, watch the acceleration. Give yourself a bit of uh, room and space and braking as well.
there. Let's see how fast we can take this corner up here, the Curva Grande. I imagine if you get it right, you can take it stupidly quick. And then this one as well. So yeah, half a second up. Watch it on there. Be shy of the 50 on that metre board. Right, power. on that. What's that? 25 second past that. get a 1 minute 24 then on this one, right about there. Trying to use all the parabolic hit like that. It's a fun little car, the Chaparral. It's very odd looking but fun little thing. Let's get off the brakes a bit before you turn. Got away with it though. Oh, not on that one. Get myself turned round. Ah, oh, yeah. Damage you'll wear off, not too bad. So we'll go. We've got three minutes. Maybe go a bit quicker without a penalty. We've got 124.9 at the minute, so let's try and see what we can do.
it's quite grippy to be fair, the chaparral. It works to sort of aim it for where you want it to go and it will go. As long as you stop in time and you give it the stopping distances and all the rest of it, it does work out quite well. Just watch it on curves. That's what we'll say on that one for the minute. Turn a bit minutes, trying to try and push it a bit on this next one. Good to go. Watch, watch it on that. Bouncing off the curves on that. Get it slowed down in time. Hope it's not an SR. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see what happens on that one. I think the start might be a bit interesting. The first lap, anyway. Miss that. Well, there we are. We've had seven laps, which I think is a bit more than the actual daily, but uh, that's all right. We've got used to the chaparral. If you have just joined us, welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh yes, the hair is coming back. It is gradually reappearing. I think it's now about two weeks. I think I did it two, two and a bit weeks. So it's coming, it's on the way. So I'll go at this one then. I'm nearly two seconds off the pace, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll get around. We've uh, got used to the chaparral, so. Quite a few that have not set a time, so we don't know obviously how quick they are. I can't get a, an idea, but we'll see when we get going. Try not to bin it on the Curva Grande. Here we go. Oh, there's one there that's just turning out, <laughs> turning out the way. Right, further on day. That's it. Now, don't get cold. Now, nah, alright, I'm on that one. 
well, if it's like really, really cold, then yeah, we'll wear a hat when we go out, but nah, not really. It'd be great. Yeah, cheers for the good luck as well, do appreciate it. third just to keep the back end in check it's a bit slower though but it does get us round stop <laughs> like it ain't gonna stop this thing don't like slowing down Uh, yeah. Oh, got round. I thought it was going to go off then. We're good. Let's make sure my wheel's still tightened up. It looks like so the, yeah, some air conditioning units that are. That are go, go. Well, yeah, it, it's uh, it's got a look to it. This uh, chaparral, it's definitely it looks different. Stop. It's all just about. Oh, I've been charging down there. I must have left the braking a bit late. Evening, Kevin. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. How are you doing well? They're going to get in our tow now down here. I'm not chancing that one for a Curva Grande.
I've still got two laps to go. One lap to go in P7. Thinks it's in a tank. Yeah, it could put some interesting liveries on these uh, chaparrales. By the look of it. We should be all right where we are. It's quite good actually, there they say. The chaparral. That does look like an air conditioning unit. It's like the uh, the air conditioning unit Grand Prix or something like that. It's uh, an interesting looking car. It's alright though. The uh, It's quite good, it's quite planted on the racing hard tyre. Doesn't really feel too bad to drive. You've got to watch it on curves, watch it on corners, get your stopping distances right and all that stuff. And yeah, you should be fine on that one. Got a clean race bonus out of it. Gets the replays. Hello German Kiwi, welcome to the stream. Nice to see how you're doing well. You uh you messed it up a bit. Still P6 though, not too bad. Hello, Abba Scalio, hope I'm saying that right. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see how you're doing well. Is that the uh the Chaparral? It is indeed the Chaparral 2J70. That is the car for this week's Daily Base A. Yeah, pretty good. It's uh not too bad. Right, that one's done. Let's get to spa and do some do some spa. Probably got the uh, got the car. Right, racing mediums and there is the tuning back this week. So I'll have the uh, Where's my setup that I was using to set my time? 
Da, 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 da. <clears throat> the only downside to setups is obviously at the start of every single race you've got to you've got to key it in. Let's uh, get the job done now. So this is the setup that I was using when I set my uh, uh, initial qualifying time. But this one... Not that one, that, that one. Break balance, that one. Right, double check, I've done it. Yep. Right, that's done that. Let's go straight and we can always go to the lobby when it opens. As we'll do a couple of... We'll do a couple of laps. Uh, you have to off back in the tank. Yep, cheers, German Kiwi. Good race on the daily race 8. Have to see if I can come back to it at some point in the week. So, yeah, we've got a few Nismos on this. Well, I tried the Nismo just because I like how the Nismo drives on Spa. I tend to know Spa better in the Nismo, the GR3. So, got myself a 216 earlier. So, I was quite pleased with that. So, we'll have a, we'll have a go. We'll get warmed up for these. I've got my setup on that I was using earlier. Yeah. All oh, that's done. Yeah, everything's done. going to beat the time now we'll just get back two or three laps i think to get up to speed i find the nismo with the right setup on it is a really good car just like how it drives when you get tuning for it on that. It's all right, 218, just to get us going.
yeah, there's a couple of a couple of bits we can maybe improve on. This is one of them. stop so I'll try to like pole vault it almost over the curve just really sort of chuck it into the corners it does go you have to just sort of get it up to the apex and just lob it straight in whoops just cap the wall just the the lobby's open so 269 then just going in that's not all right so it's about Yeah, they coom that bit at the end of the straight. That's another one as well. That right hander sort of really try to chuck it into the corner. We'll go in. I'll sort of try to, I'll try to show you what I mean if, uh, as we go. But I think oh, I've got to do the setup again, haven't I? Oh, hang on. Where's me set up? Right, that one and that one. That one down there. Just whilst I'm doing my setup, if you are enjoying the stream, do let me know by dropping a like on the stream. Very much appreciated. And do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you are a first-time viewer for new GT7 videos, live streams, dailies, weeklies, well, every day. All support on the channel, very much appreciated. Let's get this set down at the bottom. One and then this one and then that one right right that all that's been right that's all keyed in right that's it and that's right eight minutes have a look Hello Joe, welcome to the stream, it's nice to see you, I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> yes, I quite like uh, I quite like Group 3, when you can put tuning on the cars, I think the Nismo, it's not too bad with uh, like the standard kind of like BOP settings that they put on the dailies without tuning, but when it's tuning I like to... Uh, I've got like two setups in particular that I like to use and just find it goes pretty well. Then. 
I use second gear there depending how I'm feeling at the time. If I sort of feel like it just needs that additional turn, we'll do it, but sometimes we'll just go straight through. Stamina is a tricky one as well in the exit. So you do that and then it takes you all the way, well, pretty much down to the bus stop, losing time. Roll it through, chuck it over that one, chuck it over this one, get on the power early as you can. Just dropped it on there. Top of Eau Rouge there, you can cut it, just got to be careful how much you cut of that corner, but you can, you can take quite a bit. Like I say, just don't take too much, otherwise you will get penalised. Time to do another one.
minute left. Two sixteen, not too bad. I think bus stop is quite a quite a funny chicane bus stop. I reckon there's quite a bit of time to have on there. I reckon if we can really well just really lob it into the corner, just literally chuck it in as hard as we can from when we start to turn. And maybe break a bit later. Get it onto the apex as quick as we can. I reckon there could be at least a tenth or two from there. It's all right though. Uh, time we've got it, it just it gets us in for the start of the week, so we'll have to obviously build on it as we go. Staying off in P12. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, mid 216s, I reckon, is where that's going to be. We could aim for that today and get a 216.6 or 2165. And then again, build on it again for next time. We could be. We could be sub. 2.16.3 or 2 or even 1 actually before well by the time we get to Friday I reckon that'll be that'll be but not too bad it'll be a good job that if we can do that wow at <laughs> 2.15.6 at the top of this one so it's going to be pretty quick off the bat so we better get into the zone And it is one of them. The time, it just comes down naturally. The more you do it, so it should be all right.
not my first lap. We've got round onto lap two, but we're doing four laps. This is where that 216.6, that would have us right in the middle of that pack up there. That would have us right in the middle. Just uh, keep, as we are for now, keep going. Now, now. Everyone stab a lot.
watch out just in front of us here. I know it's bottled them up, but I'm, well, I'm not sure it's going to release us now with a 0.5. I'm in the wrong place, really, to try anything. First race, get it in the bag, go from that. That's not too bad. P10. Quite pleased with that. It was uh it was alright, to be fair. Sets the stall out for what we need to be working on. Yeah, that'll do was that P10. So yeah, guys at the front are very, very quick. It's uh it's almost like on you're on rails in these sort of races. And uh I think I was saying it before about how if you fall out the pack or you you come off those rails at any point, that's it. It's literally as simple as that <laughs> in these uh in these kinds of races, you've just gotta keep going. Right, it gives us seven minutes. Right, I've got to get this keyed in as fast as possible. <laughs> Hello, Levitius. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. How are you doing well? Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Thanks for popping in. We uh, set up. Can't remember this one off the fly, like me, <laughs> like the other one. That's one right really there. This one. Right, I need to get a bit of a move on with this uh, this time. Hello, TOFBE. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. You can uh... <laughs> finally you can steal the setup. Well, it's out there. It's um, I imagine there's other guys that are running it as well. So it's uh different setups run with what uh, works for you yeah 215 flat flipping heck <laughs> it's uh it's a bit quick that gives us about five and a half minutes then if we're quick with the uh, Putting the setup in each time.
time. <laughs> Alright, Taggy on. Go back to the start. That's too late that time. Gonna sort of test the waters a bit with Buster, I'm pretty sure. Get that right, we can have two tents at least. Or at least one from there. Well, we'll still take 216.8 into the next one. Well, yes, bus stop, late on the brakes, chuck it into the apex, two tents right there. <laughs> so we'll have to work on that as we go. And again, 215s at the top in this one. Right, OP tent. But yeah, 216. Yeah, so mid 216s, we're looking at mid pack, which is pretty good. So. Yeah, P10.
Don't forget, if you are enjoying the stream, do let me know by dropping a like on the stream. It's very much appreciated. It helps out both the stream and the channel. Any first time viewers who like what you see, do feel free to subscribe to the channel for more GT7 live streams, daily races, TTs, weeklies and more. All support on the channel is, as ever, very much appreciated. And we're doing P10 on this one. P6. Yeah, I reckon that's uh, that sort of ballpark mid 216 is what we should be aiming for. Right, let's just take the RL250 mobile. Off we go. Did we stop. Oh, we got in. Oh, into the source. I thought I'd stop the braking then. Hello, Wilson. Welcome to stream. Nice to see you. How are you doing well? It's uh, been a while. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Not doing too bad, like I say. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see you. Come on, I've got a rouge. That's fine, though. Get on the back of these lot up here. It's gonna, I don't know, it's gonna be close. I just about got it though. Good evening, Wobbot. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Let's fend off this Nissan down the Camel Straight. up with uh, these guys up here then.
two to go. That's it, only 50 to go. That's the thing, we are getting there towards 500 subscribers now. Anyone watching who wants to help out with that, support would be very much appreciated. Well, getting that two seconds, four laps. Yeah, it's a little bit. You've got a bit of room, but not really at four laps. You can come back if stuff happens, but it depends where you are. Tight margins, but it is a long lap, so you have got that that kind of goes in your favour, that makes sense. Yeah, and that's it. You've got big straights on Spa. Lots of high-speed sections. It's not all twisty corners all the way. So you can... You can catch back up on there. Depending on how far behind you are. We've sort of caught these three. A little bit. Yeah. Well, let's bring it in. Hello Johnny, welcome into the stream. Nice to see how you're doing well. What are we racing this this week? Got a bit of spa this week. We've got a spa week. On this one we're doing group threes at spa. Daily race C I believe is group four. On the, the Dragon Trail 
guard yeah gardens and then the 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 chaparral air conditioning thing on on her on daily base a uh yeah good exits as well on spa it's definitely possible to claw back time on spa if you get it wrong That was all right though. It's uh, P nine. Right. Where is it? Uh, that one. Right, so that should be, yeah, that's it. Let's get to Carhouse Ghost out and try that to 15.7. repeat of uh, <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago uh, kind of yeah, in the sense that it's Spa I think Spa was daily base C a couple of weeks ago that one hour endurance thing Yeah, the Spa race, if you had a car that wasn't very good on the wet tyres, it was a bit of a problem, but uh, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was alright, but uh, a bit long though. I think I was only doing about three, three in a run because uh, they were quite long. I'm going to restart just because I'm a little bit behind the, uh, the ghost on that one.
toys. Move around. Almost PB, not quite. Almost. Yeah, he's guaranteed a top 10. Yeah, if uh, he got the strategy a bit wrong, I mean, I think when I first started that Spa race, I was on my American account and I forgot the wet tyres for the car on the American account, so it rained halfway through the race, so... I had to retire the car because I didn't have any wet tyres. So there we go. I had to. Uh, I thought I'd I'd, uh, I'd try it, but it was far too wet. So I just pulled over. I'm just like, yeah, it's not worth it. So we went back to the went back and got the tyres. But no such worries today about the rain at Spa. Spa, I think it's near Liège in Belgium. Used to go past Spa. Used to uh, when we used to go to Italy back in the uh, in the trucking days with my dad. We used to uh, we would would sometimes go into Belgium, into Luxembourg, and then down through Germany, into Austria, and then down into Italy through the Brenner Pass. That was quite nice. And we'd uh, we'd go through Belgium. Let's see <laughs> going on. Right, this is the third one we've done. Yeah, because a lot of the um, a lot of our drops were in Verona, so it made sense to go down through Austria. So you'd go over the Brenner Pass, and you'd go straight down the motorway to Verona, as opposed to going through Mont Blanc into Italy that way, and then coming all the way across the uh, the top end. Nah, never, never got to the Highlands. We used to do, uh, we did fridges, fridge trailers to Fraserbrook in the early 2000s in a truck that was bright pink, which was uh, quite interesting. We had a bright pink that super space cab. That was good to Fraserburgh in.
that's a two I got penalties. Yeah, up to Fraserburgh with the fridge will go up probably Saturday afternoon, up to Fraserburgh, we'd tip at Fraserburgh Sunday morning. And then we'd go mostly to, I think it was by Aberdeen area to refill the fridge, reload it with the it was fish that we used to do. And then we'd uh would get our bright pink that super space cab and drive it down to uh to Birmingham and we'd meet a guy there, another driver, in a Range Rover. So we'd get there at like one o'clock in the morning at Birmingham and then we'd uh, we'd swap. So guy would get in the truck and take it on to Spain and we'd drive back home in the Range Rover and uh, get home at six in the morning. Yeah, I think we might have gone through um, Peterhead, actually, when we was going up that way. Caught it on the there. Ah. Phones on the corner. Oh, well, I'll get one place back with a penalty in front. Flipping cones on that corner. Knocks off a bit there. You're going to have to go because you're way quicker than me. Way faster. Stuck behind them, going up here. Yeah, I think we had uh, we had a few pickups in Aberdeen as well that we used to do uh, steel uh, around that area. That used to go to Italy. Granite City, Granite, that rings a bell. 
That does bring a bell of granite. Because we used to uh, we used to pick up granite marble when we was uh, coming back. We used to uh, take down steel plate and then we'd come back with uh, granite marble on the, it used to be on A-frames. So we used to stand up on A-frames with chains around it. Quite heavy them slabs, so they they were quite heavy. They used to pull a bit when we used to uh, when we used to come out of Italy over Mont Blanc. The uh, definitely had to put a bit of a shift in. I think it had about forty ton, forty ton on. That's quite a bit. Looks like P10, sort of bend it a little bit, but not too bad. We'll still get P10. I think it was six. The math. P10. Yeah, a bit cold up there. We used to well, we used to go up in the summer on the on the fish job. So uh, we uh, never went up in winter. Not too bad. But yeah, do remember, we had to be quite careful going to Italy in the winter because it obviously was snowing in the Alps and uh, some, some trips we did get snowed in, which was uh, quite interesting. So basically you get to, they shut all the tunnels off so you can't go up the Blanca or anything because it's obviously not safe for trucks to go up there with 40, 50 tonne of weight behind them. So yeah, just sit there all weekend and just, uh, well, just sit at the bottom of the Mont Blanc for the weekend and just, yeah, just wait until you were told, right, you can go. <laughs> so, not much to it. Right, where's my set up? Again, right. Uh, 
Uh, right, 43, 5, and break balance. Right, this time I'm trying to stack it on the on the uh, on the cones or the, the the ballard things, whatever they are, on the inside of the corners. I think that's what it was. We sort of went past them a bit too close, and it just sort of spat us out a little bit. Right, I need. Well, I don't need, but it'd be nice to get a quicker time. It's a bit slow, well, for a, a quicker time. Let's see. Yeah, right. 
come on. Not quite. Ah, not quite. Still there on eight three one. I think just here, if you turn left from where there, that goes to the old spa that we don't use anymore. I think it's there, bottom of the roof. You turn left, and it goes up to the, it goes up towards, uh, I think it's Malmody, the the village, and it goes all around the the uh, the Belgian countryside. Well, P six. In this one. If you want to join the stream, do let me know by dropping a like on the stream. Very much appreciated. We've got, at the minute, 26 watching, which is absolutely brilliant. So anybody watching who's not subscribed, do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see for more GT7 streams, weekly challenges, TTs, dailies, and all the rest of it. All support on the channel is very much appreciated. Hello, Ebs Batata. I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Looks as though you're from Brazil, which is brilliant. We've got uh, we've got Brazil in the stream. Yep, yeah. and cheers for the the GL one, Bob. Do appreciate it. Let's take a look at this then. We know now don't drive too close to the the, the bollard comb, whatever they are on the inside of the corners. They upset the cars and balance a little bit. to not bounce off the rev limiter.
was coursing there but didn't have anywhere with the well, not much we could have done. Right, get a move on. I've got a 0.5 second penalty. I need to lift out of there, otherwise it's going to be a one. I don't think we're defending that one. that 2.2 2.1 that's fine fine a bit more would be good but not not needed we should be all right with that nearly chucked it off the track again there have to be really careful right I'm actually all right I've got a nice little gap in front got a nice little gap behind as well bit risky that. That was very risky. Lowering it halfway through the corner like that. We do want to try and get on the back of these up here. We've got a opportunity if we can, but it is going to be a tight squeeze at four laps.
like, oh, no, I was going to say. Nope, I don't really fancy that. Another one done, P7, that's alright, I'll do. Oh, I can't believe B Boy races all of our lives. Yeah, I think uh, we had a. Uh, we used to pick up tractors sometimes from Italy in Parma, well, a, a place near Parma, Reggio Emilia. We used to pick up these bright yellow tractors. So when we used to go, I think they used to go, I can't remember now, I think Lancashire Way, we used to tip them at. And uh, I used to drive the tractors around off the trailers and. Yeah, them stuff like <laughs> like that. Guys, terrible. I I used to drive the trucks around the yard as well. Just a bit. Uh, what of them? One of those things. I mean, not not like proper driver. Just like forwards, backwards, forwards and backwards. Uh, a lap of the yard. That was about. That was about it. But still, it was. Uh, It's one of them. Yeah, cheers, guys. So, GG's. Do appreciate it. I think we'll uh, carry on. Mediums. Not doing so bad then on this daily base. B so far today. We have got nations though on Wednesday, so we will be doing that. Uh, we need to practice at some point. I've not, I've not thought about that yet, to be honest. So <laughs> we'll probably practice for it at some point before Wednesday. But uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll cram it in wherever. So we'll be right. I reckon we'll be all right. But nations, do the setup. Do the setup on the car. Oh, done. And that one, he watched tractor tractor racing. Yeah, I think uh, we had a uh, we had uh, we, we had a weekend down there once. I think uh, we got to the we got there on the Friday afternoon, and they said the cart load us till Monday. I was like, oh well, what, what are we gonna do? So they said there's a supermarket round the corner. Uh, you can go and park up there for the weekend. So we had uh, another driver with us as well. So the two of us, uh, well, me, my dad and the other driver, we parked up at the supermarket for the weekend. Got a supermarket shopping trolley. We got some bricks. Put the bricks out on the floor. Put the uh, bit of the trolley, the back bit on the top of it. Went into the supermarket. Got some bits and pieces. Had a barbecue. on the. Uh, well, it was 40 degrees, nearly. So we... Uh, we had to do something. It was it, it was pretty. I remember that weekend. I remember that. I think I was about. Oh, this was like two thousand and four, five. I remember that one. 
we had it, it was that odd that we had the uh, the truck engines running all weekend to keep the air conditioning on because uh, when the engines weren't running the aircon wouldn't work. But yeah, it it was that odd down in uh, in Parma that uh, we had the uh, we had the truck engines running I think for two days in a row without turning them off because it was so hot. Because the air conditioning used to used to drip water down the front of the the front grill of the cab, so we got a watermelon, stuck it in a cardboard tray, stuck it underneath the uh, front of the cab, and uh, let all this uh, all this water drip on it to cool it down. I do remember that weekend very well. It's good times they were. Too bad. Yeah, one minute forty two. Is that one minute low one forty one is the sweet spot, I think, for this lap time. to 18. Oh yeah, better places to be for two days. Yeah, I used to go with my dad every like school holiday, pretty much. And uh, yeah, the uh, the firm that he was at, they just happened to do continental, France, Italy, Germany, all over really. So yeah, just used to yeah, just do that. So pretty much spent most of me uh, my school holidays just like yeah, just just tramping round Europe in a in a in, in a big wagon so there you go it was uh it's one of them we had all sorts of things that that, that happened and all, all sorts going on I, I, I'd be here all night if <laughs> I've got some uh I've got some photos somewhere I might uh I might see if I can dig them out at some point I've got uh I've got loads of bits and things and all sorts of like stories and all sorts of stuff. I'm quite into that as well. So like motor racing, obviously with, with the uh, with the channel and stuff. But yeah, sort of uh, 
yeah quite a bit of an interest in truckers as well trucks lorries anything sort of like industrial like trucks cranes lorries anything like that i'm i'm like i'm all over it so <laughs> Yep, yeah, and cheers for the GL. Do appreciate it. We are in P5 on this one, which is. I think that's the highest we've been so far. So let's try not to get any penalties or anything like that. Right, so try and stick in P5 then. close. <laughs> that was a bit touch and go through there. This is awkward. You're going to have to go because I can't yeah, I can't get that done. Hello, Parha. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Yep, hope you're doing well.
lost track a little bit, but it's all right. Yeah, good, thanks, mate. All good. Uh, yes, great daily. I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this daily. It is a good one. One lap to go, it's getting a bit warm in here again. It's, uh... Right, should be all right from here. Good bait. There we go, P5. Bit of a thing there, we sort of going down the inside, realising that I wasn't really able to get it done, then trying to back out a bit again when we're sort of halfway through the overtake, and then just trying to really sort it out from there. But uh, Luckily, we didn't take them off, which is not too bad. Well, not too bad is the good thing. And 
and uh, they got themselves through into P4. Got him behind him in P5. Yeah, seems like no biggie. Really seems all right. Seems as well that the, you know, it's getting, uh, we're not doing too bad off because we've not improved it yet. The, uh, the 216.8 and it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going. Get the, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going. Yeah. Cheers, Kevin. Do appreciate it. Not doing so bad. Where were we? Right. Right, uh, I've remembered half of this setup. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> it's, we still need the, uh, where is it? We still need to bring it up. Yes. Thirty eight, forty eight. Right, that's all. I reckon we've got a good ghost we can use here, so we'll use that. Right, we've got five and a half minutes. Can cut the top already on, but you've just got to be just careful doing it. You can do it though.
Xbox 217. Just like anyway. Good track spa, always been a bit of a fan of spa, if I'm honest. It's uh, one of our, it's up there with one of our sort of top five. I say top five because there's quite a few other ones as well, but spa is definitely up on the high up on the list of tracks that we like. Both on GT7 and in real life as well. I think uh, the old Hockenheim, that's a good one. Well, I say that's a good one, was, <laughs> was a good one, if anybody remembers that one. But it used to go through the, uh, through the forests and it was, uh, I think it was, uh, I think, early 2000s. I did go there when I was about, I think, 10 or 11. Went to uh, went to Hockenheim. It was uh, just a quick flying visit. We was, uh, we was delivering steel plates to Stuttgart, just down the road. So, a uh, quick stop at Hockenheim on the way down. I remember that. I've got photos of that somewhere. Photos of us at Hockenheim. I think it was 2000, 2001. Anyhow, we're back at Spa. Oh, no worries about the bus stop in this one. I'm going to be a bit clearer of that. Let's keep going.
Here we are. Two eighteen, so that's all right for a race pace. To get any benefit from that slipstream, but you know, go with the flow.
That'll do. That'll do. GG's, Carhal. A uh, very commanding victory. It's quite good that the uh, the pace was uh, it's quite good. The uh, the lap time, I think the last lap was a uh, was was the uh, was a PB, like fastest lap of the well, fastest lap of our race, which was pretty good. Well, yeah, it seems like it's the Nismo on Spa. Well, it's one of the cars. It seems like it's uh, it's a go-to <coughs> on this one. Oh no, Mr. Bro oh, yeah, I've, I've, I'm a bit of an expert some <laughs> some days at doing that. It's uh, gosh, it does happen though. It does happen. It does very, very much happen missing your breaking point. No matter how much racing you do, you can never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever get it spot on all the time. It, you just can't. That that that's how it works. So <laughs> it is what it is. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be P1, P7, 12, 9, 6, whatever. It's, uh, it does happen. Right, let's do this. I think it was, uh, was it the Coombe end of the straight where it happened? So it's quite, you're quite lucky if you do it there, miss your breaking point, because you can just sort of go straight across the runoff. Just watching as to when you come back on again. But you can, you can get away with it a bit just by driving across the runoff. You shouldn't get reset for doing it. And then, yeah, just check what's coming when you rejoin as that runoff finishes. We should be fine. Right, that's that done. Okay, so, yeah, we've still got a 216.8. Not, uh, we've not moved it. We've not moved off it since we started, but it's it's doing the job it's doing the business so let's keep going oh we uh yeah yeah cheers johnny for the ggs I do appreciate it and it is as you say always nice to get podium right so we've got about one and a bit laps that time
Zorak through there. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see how you're doing well. Not too bad either through Poo on. Let's see how this one goes. to 17.2 17 and I think it was this beer where we had that uh, was it? I can't remember which year it was uh, 98 when uh, there was a big massive pile up at the start of the Belgian GP in the rain it took over half field out the race I think in the same race, it was just around this corner here. That's uh, Michael Schumacher, didn't see DC in the spray, whacked into the back of him, and then uh, drove the rest of the lap on three wheels back to the pit lane and uh, got out his car, very angry, very unhappy, and uh, bombed across to the McLaren garage to uh, have it out with DC, he was still wearing his helmet. Remember that one. I do remember that one. Hello, only Dan's. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, aggravated. Oh, an old back injury. Practicing. Oh, I hope it gets better soon. So then you can uh, get back into the uh, back in your play seat again. It's quite strenuous, really, on here, because I sort of get, uh, so my uh, wrists sometimes ping. It's really annoying. I'm like halfway turning through a corner and it'll just like go ping and it's like, <sighs> that sort of thing. So P5. In this one, and we are not doing so bad then. We're still running off that 218, not 218, 216, 216.8. We're still running off that, and it's it's going all right. So, yeah, cheers, can't help. Same to you as well. Good luck for this one. Portion, you see that on the back of that Nismo. Right. 
Whoops. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is. And <laughs> I was about to say. That is a case of see you later. Wheel, uh, the wheel, uh, we've got a uh, Thrustmaster TGT2 Gran Turismo with the, the pedals that you get with it. Why is that call back to not not through? It's pretty quick, that thing in a straight line. A bit offline at the minute.
good race is this. Less than four seconds operating the top six. And it looked pretty stacked behind us as well. Right, it's behind that is oh I was gonna say that was the that was the priority but maybe not it's uh it might be six Yeah, I've not really been. I've just been Thrustmaster the whole time. I had a, uh, a Thrustmaster T248 that got us going, and then I got this one a few months ago. So, yeah, always on the Thrustmasters. Quite like them. into P6 in this one then and it's uh, not too bad well the SR's got level I'm not quite sure doesn't matter it's uh Yeah, I don't know about the SR. I have a uh, what's the we'll see what's happened to it, but uh, no, it's not too nothing really. That'll come back. <laughs> so. Right, let's get me uh, set up again. I still can't remember it. Even now, I've done it like six times today. <laughs> Still can't remember it. Right, a uh, right seven. On seven forty three and five for the differentials, and we're running a brake balance of minus two. And that's it, that's the setup that we're running. 
uh, 7, 9, 25, 38, 38, 48, 255, 265, 7, 43, 5, great balance of minus 2. Seems to work in the Nismo. Right, so 5, 6 minutes. 2... Five and six minutes. Uh, looking to get back into streaming. It's good stuff. Uh, car, how good racing? Yeah, same to you, mate. Same to you. Uh, good luck. Yeah, cheers for that. I'll uh, definitely see you soon at some point. I imagine. Uh, tech cat. Uh, hello. Tugrill Bauer, welcome into the stream. Hope I said that right. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, how long have we playing GT? Uh, I think... Uh, so GT7, uh, just after it came out. But uh, yeah, going back to uh, Gran Turismo, 97, 98 on the PlayStation. Going right the way back. We've been through most of them. Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 2, Gran Turismo 3 on the PlayStation 2, Gran Turismo 4, that was pretty good. I don't think, no I didn't play 5 and 6 because I went to Xbox for a bit and then I came back to, I came back over to the dark side, <laughs> back to PlayStation for uh a bit of Gran Turismo. Uh, 270, yeah. I was going to say 217, 218. Oh, yeah, V Rally on the PS1. I had that as well. Classic. Bit of V Rally. It felt like the cars were constantly on ice, but it was good for the time. I remember that one.
now, a, a second part. I don't think it's uh, faster than the, the 216 anyway, but might, oh, I'll get close to the end. Yep, yeah, see you later, car help. Take care. Yeah, V Valley back in I think it was uh it was based on the the WRC in the nineties with uh well, Subaru, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Science Mackinnon, McRae, Yuha Kankanen. And there were some other ones as well, I can't remember. Marcus Gronholm, I think he was no, he was two thousands, I think, Marcus Gronholm. Back in the day. I think it's still, is it? Is it initializing? Uh, I'll just see what happens. I think it's because we've got we've got seventeen two at the top and we've got oh just have a look, let's see. Is it gonna maybe? Hang fire for a minute, I think. Let's <laughs> see what's going on. Don't forget, as ever, if you are enjoying the stream, do let me know by dropping a like on the stream. It's very much appreciated. It helps out both the stream and the channel a huge amount. Any first time viewers, if you like what you see, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel for more GT7 live streams, daily races, weekly challenges, time trials, and other fun stuff on GT7. All support on the channel is very much appreciated. And I think we've got a bug. <laughs> What's happening? Let's uh, um, ooh, hang on. Yes, Colin McRae Rally. Didn't have that one, but definitely definitely knew about it Colin McRae and his co what's his co-driver called Mickey Grist that's the one um we've got a problem uh Okay, give it a minute also. Because it looks like. <laughs> uh, is it is it P one that's that's causing the uh that's causing this uh give it a minute and then we'll have to we'll have to come out if it doesn't work. It's doing. Right, uh, I think you're right, Kevin. Uh, we're gonna have to leave. It's it's not working. Well, <laughs> we'll have to take the hit, if any. It's it's not working. It really no. Oh well, we can. Uh, what can we do? Qualify for the next one. Where's my set up? Let's 
set up, set up, there you are. Okay, we'll call set up on. Right, this one is on 265. So yeah, go through it again. Uh, car set up for the Nissan GT on Nismo for daily base B this week. Uh, anti roll bars on seven and nine. Damping ratio, 25 and 38. Damping ratio expansion, 38 and 48. Natural frequency, 255 on the front, 265 on the rear. Differential, uh, torque, 7. This one, 43. And your braking is 5. Brake balance is minus 2, which is 2 to the front. If you're in the Nismo, just uh, a setup. That we've got we have got another one but uh i find that this one is better for what we're doing what we're dealing with so we'll carry on using this one so now we've got a bit of time to uh set a lap Oh, it goes straight on at that sort, yeah. You just sort of know when it's not going to go. Well, it'll go round the corner, but not, not to plan. Flat. 
sketchy out of last source hairpin then. I'm doing it now. So, it does happen. Right, here we go. Lost a bit on that. Ugh. Yep, the bus stop and the first corner. I'm still a bit on the bus stop. I know there's there's at least two tents we can get from just literally just chucking it in. Some, something a bit like that. Thank you, Jokopoko Majoko96. Hope I got that right. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Very much appreciated. Welcome aboard.
close on that curve. It pulls you off. That's the end of it. No! <laughs> and that was the fastest middle sector I've had all day since we started doing this daily. I oh, just don't have time to get restarted round to bus stop and then onto another one. Yep, I think what was that, 40, yeah, 41 flat, and that is the fastest of the lot we've had so far. That's the thing with qualifying. It all has to come together on that one lap. And if it doesn't, you might get it, you might not. And then you start going down the never-ending rabbit hole of trying to improve it as much as you can. I reckon if we kept that one going, it would have been... I mean, even still. Bus stop. We could have missed the break-in. We could have tried to launch it over the curbs and spun it. But... Could have been a PB, that one. Well, we'll see if this day late is going to work. The last one was a bit of a duff one. What we're going to get now, let's have a look. We are going in.
despite the look of it. We are in. We got, um, ooh, we'll say, uh, let's go weed. We at base a few times. Well, it looks all right. We're going in on this one. It's working, it's loading up. Right, balance on two. No, never get nervous. <laughs> it's about enjoying it above all else. Six tenths ahead at the minute on the camel straight.
they're going to follow every line that we take through all these corners. They're going to stay right with us. Lost two tenths to them. Oh, surely not. I was going to say. Got it done now. I was hoping there to undercut them on the inside, but they had it covered off. But it is going to go up and over Eau Rouge.
Fair play to him. Fair play. If they've been a bit off in the bus stop, I reckon that we could have maybe lobbed it alongside them. But then again, if we've done that, we've got nowhere to go for the for the outside bit. Yeah, cool, calm and collected as much as can be. It's, uh, I think it's the, the best way to go, to be fair. If you can... Oh, well, we can take, well, we do take the fastest lap off them, which is, uh, well, that fastest lap off the race. They, uh, oh, they've gone. Yep, and cheers for the GG's. Do appreciate it. A case of the ones that did badly enough, and so they went and got it. <laughs> right, where are we? Because the, uh, ooh, I reckon. It's... We'll have at least one more, and then we'll see where we are after that. When does the next one tend to... Yeah, we'll have one more. Legs go. Yeah, they can do. I think as well, it, it depends who's behind you as well. So like in, uh, or if it's uh, if it's Nations, I, I do get a little bit sort of up, like nervous-wise for Nations. But when it was that, uh, that 20 lap, because we had, uh, when it was the Red Bull one at Spa, the GT1, we had, ugh, we had like 22 laps to do. And I was just quiet. <laughs> the the whole race was just total silence on the stream as I was uh I was uh, getting these twenty two laps done in the I think it was the Red Bull that we had. I think we had the other one on Bathurst a while ago, Mount Panorama on racing hard tires. And that race was uh, total silence on the stream as well. Concentration to not get any penalties for hitting the walls. Yeah, that's the one. Right, we've got four minutes to do a uh,
time. We have it now. I was about the same. Not going to get the lap done though. It'll happen. It will happen at some point. Yeah, better to chase somebody than be chased. It's definitely, uh, if you're behind somebody, put them under pressure. Right, I reckon then, where are we? Uh, yeah, this will be probably the last race for today, but it has been a pretty good stream. I've uh, definitely enjoyed this today on uh, on Spa Francochamp. It's been, as we say, not so bad. Hello, Wild2D. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, cheers for that, do appreciate it. Like I say, hope you're doing well. Got some quick guys in here. I think P1 last time out, some P7. So, there we go. Yeah, cheers for the GL. Do appreciate it. Yep, and you as well. Take care.
Oh, we have to fight another day. Fair late. I got my, I got my gear bins wrong for the first corner. I'm getting a bit exciting. I sort of saw them like on the radar going around the corner, but I didn't realise that we were going to actually touch coming out of bus stop. Yeah, it's a bit of a gap, isn't it? So it looks like something's gone off. Hello, Petrol Ted. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. How are you doing well?
it's a bit of dirty air, pulled her in. I can't really go for it. And the bus stop. Jeez, that was a good one, that. That was a good one. That'll do, I reckon, for today. It has been pretty good. It's been, like I say, a good stream today. It's uh, been all right. Wow. We're putting our ship today 500 miles. That's, uh, yeah, I think we've, uh, we've done our bits for, for today with that. Good base that. Yeah, cheers to the GGs. I do appreciate it. Did I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, chuck it into bus stop and hope that we go wide on the exit so we could sort of almost like pole bolt off the curb and, and try to run them to the finish, but uh, covered it off. As expected, it's uh, all good. That we, uh... yeah, we're about, yeah, we're about done. Well, there we go. Uh, we'll look at. Yeah, not so bad then. We've uh, got ourselves back into A+, which is pretty good. We uh, we fell out of it last week. <laughs> it was, uh, I think last week, I just didn't really seem to, I don't know, just really, didn't really seem to sort of gel with Daily Base B as much as I thought I would and as much as I wanted to. But... Uh, this week it's definitely good with the custom setups on the Nismo and Spa. We like Spa, so it always works when you get a combo that you like. So uh, that'll do. Right, so we'll go and service the car. We'll look at nations tomorrow. See what's going on with that. Hello, Johnny Drama. Welcome into the stream. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this one. We should have an oil change. The amount of running that we've done. Yeah. Give it a wash. Why not? Right. Uh, yeah. Change the oil. viewing tonight yeah it's been good tonight uh hopefully yeah get into your place seat at some point and uh you can uh turn the laps you have the yeah the same last week as well yeah i think like very very speed last week it was a bit like yeah i set the time and yeah i just didn't i just didn't really like proper like like i said i just didn't gel with it as much as i thought i'd as much as i thought i would do forward slash wanted to and I think that uh, it was just one of those daily races last week on uh, on Deep Forest mm. 
right, wash the car, change the oil. We've buffed out all the vents and stuff. So that's done. Right. Uh, any new classics? I'm aware that I'm almost bankrupt on this account now. I've been buying too many cars. Uh, <laughs> uh, luckily, though, we do have the Toyota GT1, which is probably the car we're going to use on Wednesday. Either that or the Mercedes. But we've got them both, so all is good. Uh, got all these. Yeah, apart from that one, but I can't afford it. So. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Yeah, dropped to A, tough, yeah, tough races, but got back in. That's good, though. Back into A plus again. I think I'm back in A plus as well now, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll do the price spin. Today, we have a four-star roulette ticket for our 500 and whatever it is, miles of effort. And we're going to get... An invitation. Rory. Right, shall we go and see what the invitation is before we go? The invitation to buy a car that I can't afford, but <laughs> I don't know. I could be surprised. Let's have a look. What's it for? Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari. Oh, blimey, I've got, like, four. No, no, three. Right, I'm not sure which one it's for, but... but uh, okay, one of these three. Uh, the F um, FXX, Enzo Ferrari, and the LaFerrari. Okay, cool. I think I've got all of the others. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right, then. That'll do. Well, I reckon on that note of our Ferrari invitation, I'm not been sure what, what Ferrari is actually for. We'll, uh, we'll park it up, I think, for today. It has been, though, a really good stream. Thoroughly enjoyed it today on the new dailies this week. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And we'll be back uh, very likely tomorrow where we'll... Uh, We'll have a bit of a uh, we'll have a bit of a wander, I think, onto Daily Base C, and we'll see what's happening with that because uh, I think that one looks quite good as well. So uh, we'll have a go at it and see what we can do, and then of course we've got nations that we need to practice for at some point. So we might even do a bit of that as well tomorrow. Uh, a bit of Daily Base C, bit of nations. We'll do. We'll see what happens with that one tomorrow, and. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, be back for that. So, as ever, big thanks for today, for all the support on the stream today. It is very much appreciated. As always, 24 likes on the stream today. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, big, big thanks for that. That is really, really appreciated. And if you are watching and have not done so, do hit the like button as the stream has been brought to a close. It would be very, very much appreciated. Also, we've had some new subs to date as well. So big, big thank you for our new subscribers to the channel. Again, it's very much appreciated. And if you're watching and like what you see, then please do feel free to subscribe to the channel for more GT7 live streams, weekly challenges, daily races, TTs, and all the rest of it. All support on the channel is, as always, very much appreciated. So we're going to go then and we'll be back tomorrow. For some uh, Daily Race C, we'll probably go to America again and do some American dailies on Daily Race C and Nations as well. And we'll see where we go from there. So, with a nice evening. Yeah, cheers for the racing, Ted. No worries. Johnny, are oh, late to the party. But no worries, though. We are back tomorrow if you are around. And failing that, Wednesday, it's Nations. So, we'll be around across the week. So it'd be nice to see you popping in and uh, hanging around. But until next time, as always, do take care. Do like, do subscribe. Big, big thanks for 
the support again on the stream today. Very much appreciated as always. And I will see you tomorrow for some more dailies on GT7. So as ever, do like, do subscribe, do take care, and I will catch you in the next one. So until then, take care guys, have a good night, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Right, see you later. Bye. Thank you.